careful. I I think he's coming for you. He might be okay. Maybe he's okay. Maybe he just met it. <laughs> you. Someone help her. The gun, Maria. <laughs> Give it to me. I'll do it. I... I can't! Give it to me, I'll do it. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, I'll do it. I'll do it. You! Take it! <laughs> give me the gun, give me the gun! Give me the gun! Shoot him. Got it, got it, got it, I got it. Shoot him. Shoot his ass. Shoot him. <laughs> oh, you missed the mark try again? I did not miss. I really missed. Is he? Shoot his ass next. We didn't have much of a choice. There's no way I actually missed that shot. Didn't we? This can't be real. Damn. You're good? Are you good? I will shoot you. Karina, Nova, are you both alright? Did you get hurt anywhere? I, I was careless. It's not your fault, Karina. None of us here could have foreseen this turn of events. Mm. <sighs> it's not limited to this room, but this whole incident. That's not it. What do you want to say, Maria? Jorn's behavior. That maniac knew he was going to turn into one of them all along. Yeah, he's not trustworthy. Isn't that right? Open the damn door and talk to me! Guys, he went through the vent. He had my plan where I was like going to lock myself in the bathroom and go through the vent. Coward. You do make a valid point, but we can't force him to talk, can we? He must have his reasons. No, he does not have his reasons. Besides, if he did know this was going to happen, why would he have ended up locked in here with us? Had he predicted this, don't you think he would have flown somewhere safer by now? I got a gun. I... I don't care about any of that. The only thing that matters to me now is getting out from this nightmare. If that means beating the crap out of him in the process, so be it. We just have to be patient. He's not going to open the door, guys. He's went through the vents. Because that's what I would do. Patient? I'm tired of waiting. People are keep dying and going mad and there isn't even a sign of help yet. What's even the point? I... I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. I understand how you feel, Maria. We all do. But let's take it easy for now, okay? Well, I have a gun, so I'm happy. I can live happily now. You clearly don't. I still have the gun, right? She took it back? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Who are you? I'm just the player in this game. Don't lie to me. You're not who you say you are. What did you do to Dale? G listen. Okay. Okay. What's wrong, Karina? Am I Dale? He is not the one he is saying to be. Am I Dale? We're, mi we're missing memory? Well, that's a bold statement, don't you think? I'm not making this up! Look! Hmm... An admissions note? Let me take a look at that. Can you confirm the contents of this paper? Me? I don't have my memory. Do you think I would forget my own brother? I knew I was your brother! I knew it! I thought so in the beginning! I, I get... I get that, but it doesn't quite match. So I still got reprogrammed. N Nova, right? Nova, are you sure that's your real name? Guys, I don't have my memory. That's not it! You don't understand! There's no way this could be my real brother! I can tell! Karina, could you start from the beginning? I'm sure there's more to it than what's on that sheet of paper. Of course, only if you're comfortable with telling us. I'm not comfortable at all, but I don't mind just this once. Yes, they were experimenting on me like I thought they were in the first place. Arabella Primary School. Have you heard of it? Of course. This is a small town. Everyone knows about the unfortunate accident that took place there. In 1997, it was a normal morning, like any other in Arabella Primary School, when a gas leak turned into a big fire, taking over the entire building and claiming a lot of victims with it. It's been left like that since then. Dale and I were both still students there, when we were 11 and 9 years old, respectively. I can tell. I knew you were my sister. I knew it. Uh, are you sure? I mean, that shouldn't be possible. The reports say that there were no other survivors who made it out. 
teachers, students, faculty, everyone died in the explosion. That's the official story, but in actuality, there was a kid who survived hell unscathed. That was my brother, Dale. How? Oh, I don't know. But whatever happened that day, it wasn't a fire or something like that. Oh, I'm him. I'm him. I got dark spirits in me already. What are you trying to say? I was too young to realize, realize at that time, but after a bunch of research, one can easily tell. They made that story to cover up the real incident. My brother is the living proof of that. We were told not to speak about it, though. What do you think happened ten years ago, then? I don't, I don't know, and I don't think anybody really does. Wait, so you... I didn't go to school that day. I was feeling sick, so I stayed resting at home. My parents didn't share the same luck, though. Don't tell me they... They made it. That same day, Dale's class was performing in, in a school play, so they assisted as well. I recall Dale being really excited about it. Had they known what was about to happen, there's no way they could. You did mention your brother was there at the moment. Couldn't he be accounted as a witness, to some extent? Well, I don't have my memories, guys, so don't even worry about it. Yeah, you're not getting nothing out of me. Ormond! What is it? You can't just ask that! Why not? It's... it's not ethical. I'm just trying to figure out what really happened. Don't you want to? So you want to know what happened at that place, huh? That's what it is, huh, Ormond? That's what you want? I, I do, but... Since the incident, Dale hasn't spoken a word to anyone, not even me. He became unable to. He couldn't even move out of bed, let alone use the toilet by himself. He changed from that day. It does sound like a serious case of post-traumatic stress disorder, like describing the note. Poor boy, I can't imagine what he had to go through. The thing he must have seen, moreover, at such a young age. My regards. What a tragic event. I don't remember it. It doesn't in there. At least, not for us. After our parents' death, we were left with no relatives to look after us. The neighbors wound up reluctantly taking us in. They died? Dad killed them? They were an elderly couple who often took care of the grandchildren as well. It was a rather small place to live and often crowded, but I was grateful nonetheless. On my 16th birthday, we had to leave. We were adults after all. And 16? I mean, okay. The couple helped us find a cheap apartment a few blocks from their house, and we rented it with some of the money left in our parents' savings account. This wouldn't have been much of a problem if it weren't for Dale's condition. I was basically his 24-7 caretaker. It was hard for me, but when I think about it, I'm the fortunate one between the two of us, so I put up with it. The money we had left wasn't going to last forever, so I started applying for part-time jobs to help with bills. Anything would do. Going to college wasn't an option for me anymore. I I'm very sorry to hear that. I don't know what to say. We often take things like that for granted. I commend you. Everything changed when the fire nation attacked. <laughs> Everything changed when I got a letter from the head of this hospital. I don't know how they found out about us, but they offered to shift Dale into one of their medical facilities, which would provide him with everything he needed to maintain a healthy life. But I was a lab rat, imagine that, and Lewis was my handler. Huh. I knew it. In return, they'd, allow they'd be allowed to study new therapy methods on him. They were making efforts to revert the trauma caused by mental illness. This hospital? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, please continue. Without much thinking, I signed the contract. Not only they'd help provide us with economic relief, but moreover, there was a chance that I could get my brother back, my real brother, not an empty shell of who he was, or so I wanted to believe. I knew it, I saw her hair color and I'm like, yo, we're, we're siblings. Soon after, I was able to start college and move to a nicer place nearby so that I could visit Dale every day. We've been living like that ever since. To tell the truth, I stopped thinking we'd, he'd ever recover two years ago, but today, today of all days, I see him standing right here in front of me. Like if nothing happened. But I have zero memories, bro. This has to be a joke, right? You're not the real Dale. You don't even go by his name. The real Dale would never shoot anyone, no matter what the circumstances were. Sister, he was killing you. Of course I'd shoot him in a heartbeat. I mean, just think about it. He was only 11 when he lost the will to live. Even I... I see. After hearing all that, I must say I'm surprised. I don't know what to make of it. Then, who would this person here be? The hospital emergency power system kicked in. Could it be a global blackout? Possibly. Okay, this is looking like the same dialogue. I might stop reading. So now, if I think about it, he doesn't have his keycard. Maria took it. 
He's in the bathroom, so he could possibly go through the vent and maybe it goes inside the lab. But he still would need the key card for most of the stuff down there. And now this seems like it's taking us into a different path and into a route of like maybe an actual story plot line. Because I, I knew I was this chick's sister or brother. I thought I was Dale down in the underground lab, remember? So this is an entirely different story. The conspiracy theory still stands because this is what I was conspiring about. This is this scenario where that's my sister and this guy is a researcher. Karina, may I ask what you're majoring in in college? Maria is nosy as all hell. I'm studying to be a nurse. I thought so. But yeah, for real. Well, get away. Don't talk to my sister like that. Oh, it's nothing. I, I just, I was just curious on what path you decided to follow after all that. I think it's a very nice and honest choice. I'm sure your parents would be proud too. Maybe not. I don't know. Why would you bring up our dead parents? They're dead. They died. This is getting harder and harder by the clock. But let's not lose hope. Look, about my brother. I bet I'm your brother. Unless they cloned me, but I doubt it. I want to apologize. I don't know what's happening. But I don't think you're trying to deceive us. We can sort this all out later. Here, this is yours, I suppose. All I ask is that if you ever meet my brother, please tell him I miss him. I'll try. I think they took her brother's body and put him into this thing where you can load into it. Dale Acker, May 6th, 1986, male, white, he's in the hospital at Montag, Z1111. June 14th, 2005, room 42, anxiety disorder, complicated by akinetic mutism in treatment, summary undisclosed. Also, wait, what's, what's, what's akinetic mutism? Is that like you talk every now and then, but not all the time? It's a rare neurological disorder characterized by the presence of an intact level of consciousness and sensor, sensory motor capacity, but with a simultaneous decrease in goal-directed behavior and emotion. So he kind of just vibing with the sauce. He's just there. Hey, yo, Louis, open the door. You think he had a screwdriver on him? Anyone out there? <laughs> it's me. Yeah, I'm out here. What's up? Open this door. What do you want now? You all want to get out of here alive. Am I correct? You. Oh, f I forgot his voice. You all want to get out of here alive. Am I correct? Let's make a deal. Let me go now, and in return. I'll teach you some good information that might just keep you alive a little while longer. I forgot his voice! <laughs> Dial Pinsel. And what kind of information is that? You'll know once you fulfill your part of the deal. Don't you want to go home, lady? I... I'm not letting you go before hearing from it first. Th th then die! <laughs> Open this door, bitch! Unbelievable! How can you expect us to trust him after all he's done? <laughs> Damn, I like when I can go in the bathroom more. There's. They're breaking in the window. <laughs> D did you just hear that? Yeah. Silence! Yo, Louis, please let me in. It's coming from the window, I believe. Well, don't go near it. Maria, you dummy, don't go over there! We're locked in here! Help! You, girl... No, she... What are you doing? Stay back! She always on dumb grind. What is she... Cut! Let her go! Shoot her! Shoot it! Because there's no Jordan this time. Don't just stand there! Help me! Oh, okay. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, that was close. <laughs> he didn't move an inch. Why'd you do that? <laughs> she don't think right all the time, y'all. She ain't there. I... I can't take this anymore. I need to get out of here. <laughs> no one told you to go by the window, dummy. That was close. Yeah, it was. I almost couldn't get her. <laughs> Maria, why'd you go to the door? What... what officer would go to the door and just bang on it? Louis, Louis, we, we want to get out. We'll go along with your plan. I'm going stir crazy in here. 
These losers are driving me crazy. Grab your stuff. We need to get to the closest police station. What stuff, bro? I'm a, I'm a patient. I don't think anyone has anything. There's one not too far from here. We're gonna make a run for it. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? We've waited long enough already. If help isn't going to come our way, we're gonna have to go look for it ourselves. Even if you say that... What do you propose we do then? Nothing good is going to come of this if we just keep delaying the inevitable. How come when Karina said let's go outside it sounds a lot better than when Maria said it? It's too dangerous to stay here. You were almost just killed. You should know that we need to leave more than anyone. Well, she should know to stay away from windows as well, but, you know. I... I I'm not sure about that. I'm going with Karina. It's gotten pretty quiet outside. For all we know, everyone out there could be dead. If that's the case, now would be the best time to make our move. Hey, she's still got the gun, so I'll go with her. Fools! You'll never make it out of there! You again? What do you care anyway? We'll take our chances. Yup, we out. Stay in here by yourself if you want. You have absolutely no idea what's going on, do you? You are better off in school for being your trapezoid's naive girl. What? <laughs> your trapezoid is some weird shape to, to single out. Seriously, though. Can none of you grasp the gravity of the situation? You won't well, explain it to us then. Maybe make us understand. Now, listen to me carefully. These aren't the thugs or writers you hear about on the local news. The things out there aren't human anymore. We're talking about natural predators acting on an instinct alone. They won't abide by your worthless ethics or line of thought. We have a gun. We'll be fine. You were lucky up until now. If it wasn't for me sedating that brute, you'd all be dead already. Um, he, we're alive because I shot him. Out there, it's a total different reality you can't even dream of. Here's what will happen the moment you step outside. I'll tell you. First, they'll spot you. But they won't come at you, not just yet. They'll follow silently from the dark, observing your every move and waiting for the perfect time to strike. Only when you realize you're surrounded, it'll be too late. So what do you propose we do instead? Go downstairs? They'll pin you down to the ground and tear off your flesh so they can feast on your organs while they're still warm. And when they're done, they'll lead you somewhere to rot like the defenseless- the, the defense- the fuck? Rot like the defense- the fen- <laughs> And rot like the defenseless prey you are. One by one, and I believe you'll be the first blonde lady. <laughs> He's talking to you, Cap! I mean, to be fair, Maria, you did just get grabbed. I, on the other hand, can help you get through this with my knowledge. Assist me and you won't regret it. Probably. Are you crazy? I'm listening. Yeah, what you offering? What's, what's the dealio? Karina, do you actually trust him? It depends on what he says. Of course not. Then why would you even listen to what he has to say? Because he might know something, dummy. Pay attention. I need to get to the hospital head's office on this floor right away. Get me there and I promise to teach you everything I know. Alright, he don't want to go in the basement, so I'm cool with that. What do you need to get there for? Oh, wait, there's a gun in there! Hmm... I'm looking for something. What is it, exactly? It's of no concern to you. That's what it is. Bro, you want help or not? How you gon- no. Let's go, everyone. He's not worth it. Yup. Let's block him in with this thing. Wait! It's- It's an antidote for the sickness. In the head doctor's office. That's what they keep. That's where they keep the in and out. You mean there's a cure for all this? I'm not aware of a conventional cure for those who shift, but there's that possibility as well. Just as I thought. You were lying earlier. Yeah. I mean, look where he is, Maria. I did it to protect myself. I needed to make sure you were clean. We are clean. <laughs> a fellow paranoid person. Okay, maybe he ain't so bad. Unfortunately, not all of you, as you experienced. Suspicious. An antidote for the sickness? What do you mean by those who shift? You're still hiding something, aren't you? You better speak up or we'll deal with you in a much more conventional way. AKA, the stain is gonna be in your face. What I'm about to tell you is confidential information. Given the current state of affairs, I'm left with no choice but to speak about it. It's not like I care anymore. Anyhow, Thiopental. I'm losing my voice doing his voice. This is no accident. There's an organization out there running various tests as we speak. They are the ones that caused the outbreak in the city, without a doubt. I was part of that. I worked as a researcher for the team that's tasked in the development and administration of the drug, Somnio-X. What kind of drug would that be? I've never heard of it before. 
that's classified. The most notable characteristic about this synthetic lies not in its short-term effects, but in its unique constitution. When the product is exposed to the atmosphere, it vaporizes, resulting in a toxic mist that lasts there indefinitely. Properties such as density and longevity depend on many variables, like the weather. Oh, this is that thing that Maria was talking about, the fog in the suburbs? That, that's how they... Well, the chemical in this state is not as potent as in its original shape. It's very likely that its application is to induce this phenomenon. I don't know exactly how or why they did it, though. How could you ever get involved with that? I was forced to cooperate with them. You might not believe me, but that's the truth. It was a matter of life or death. I had no choice. The antidote? Yes, my little daughter, Mina. She's very sick. They promised me a cure if I helped them until the project was finished. But I was betrayed in the end. I'm sorry to hear that. He got what he deserved. <laughs> They bought my loyalty to do nothing but extortion. The thought of saving my daughter was all that mattered to me. Okay, no, that's fair. The things you'll do for your children. They'd employ such vile methods to achieve their vile ends. Who'd have thought? I'm still on to you, bitch. I'm not sure I still trust you. You're still a part of this. Tell me more about the epidemic outside. Is there anything else you know? That's all I know. They didn't tell me anything else. I swear. If I only knew what they were up to. What about them? I swear. I had nothing to do with them. Just tell us what you know. They are the result of the experiments they performed in the back. Living organisms whose primal instincts rule over their mind and body indefinitely. I was able to catch their behavior firsthand. How is that even possible? I don't know the procedure or explanation behind this phenomenon. Enough. I have told you everything I know. We are wasting precious time here. Are we? I don't know. I don't trust them, like, at all. What do you suggest we do? Let's go find the antidote. Where's the antidote? And if it's there, we're coming back. Going blindly into the city would equal suicide. Your best processes for survival are far away from it, into the mountains. Many don't know this, but there's a military base to the west. I can take you there safely if you comply. Wh what now? I hate to say this, but we may have to cooperate with him for now. But, but... I mean, why not, though? Because he... he's not going anywhere, I don't think. At least until we figure out what to do next. We have a gun. We can keep the gun on him. But keep the gun on him, guys. Trust me, I don't like it either. I'm just doing what it takes to survive. The hospital's head office, you say? Maria, how far is that from here? Wait a moment. Are you saying that Mr. Huffman has something to do with that too? I mean, it's his hospital. Maria? You're still in on it. You're still in on it. I know you are. Right, sorry. Mr. Huffman's office is only a few rooms from here, next to the elevator. However, at these late hours, the office is kept locked. The keys are stored in the reception desk at the main entrance. I see. All things considered, going there would be dangerous. Nah, okay, come on, Louis, come out then. Come on and go get the key. We'll have to do it, sooner or later. What's the plan? Don't send me out there. Karina, you go with Louis. Yeah, I handle shop and then come back. Maria and I will go get the keys. You wait here. I gotta stay with Ormond? W why me? Because you know the keys, dummy. Because you're the only one who knows where to go. We shouldn't bring more people than necessary. The quicker and more silent we are, the better. I gotta stay in here with Paranoid. I can't be- Me and Paranoid don't mix. And I gotta stay in here with him too. And we don't have a gun. No! Orman, take the gun. If that coward tries anything funny, shoot his kneecaps or his head. I don't really care. Wouldn't it be wiser if you took the gun with you? What if you were attacked on your way there? You're leaving the gun with Orman? I'm leaving, dude. Oh my god. It'll be fine. We'll be back soon. You guys need the gun more than we need the gun. Oh, I see. I wish you the best of luck then. Help me move this thing. Because Lu I could fight Lewis myself. You're gonna give Orman the gun? You guys need the gun more than we need it in here. And secondly, Orman shouldn't have the gun. It's clear. Follow me closely and keep your voice down, understood? I will try. I trust you with this too, Nova. Why don't you give me the gun then? Why'd you give the gun to Ormond? Why'd you give the gun to Ormond? Martha, oh my god, I'm going to die. They're going to fucking kill me. He's killing me in here. There's no way he's not killing me in here. Why does Orman get the gun? He can't even move all the way. Uh, are they gone? Yeah, come out. Insolent brats. I can't believe how much they, of a fool they take me for. You, the one in the wheelchair. Are you there? Oh my god, this is the this is a nightmare blunt rotation. That's what this is. Are you talking to me? What are you smiling for? Who else would I be talking to, idiot? 
let me ask you something. Do you honestly believe you stand a chance out there? These people will abandon you the moment they get sense danger. They'll leave your disabled body behind and be mauled by your fiends so they can escape. That's if they haven't already. Do you believe that, Doctor? That's horrible. He's saying that because that's what he would do, Ormin. Are you, aren't you afraid? Or are you just a fool? It doesn't matter. You're all going to die sooner or later. Even I may now outlast this. For the first time in your life, you don't need to feel excluded. Rejoice. I never actually did, but I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Definitely a fool. <laughs> I bet you're thinking you're in control now, aren't you? I know that gun doesn't have any bullets, cripple. <laughs> shoot us! Shoot his ass! Ormond! Ormond, if you like me, shoot his ass. <laughs> Whoops. You caught us, doctor. What are you talking about? I literally shot this guy, didn't I? Are we out of bullets? <laughs> and you, Nova. You can't fool me the same way you're fooling everyone else. I know what you are. Mind your business. How about that? Hormand, what are we gonna do, bro? I wonder what we do if they don't come back. Let's hope for the best. So... Ah! <laughs> You're back. Is everything in order? Listen, I thought that was a gray guy coming through, okay? Yes, it's surprisingly quiet out there. Like if... everyone vanished. That's a nice trick. Uh, how? There's a master key for the sick rooms in case of emergency. I thought it'd come in handy. You're coming with us. Lead the way. Hey, Maria. Uh, what's your name? Karina, take the gun for Mormon. She took it. <laughs> come on, man. You wanna, get, you wanna save Mina, right? What you doing in here, bro? Hello? Stop playing on my phone, bro. Yo, watch Jorn. Watch Jorn. Okay, okay. Who was that? They playing on my phone. They're playing on my phone. I heard- what was I hearing, like, whispering? Inside, quickly. Me first. Go, go, go! <laughs> We're here. Now what? There should be a safe or hidden compartment somewhere around. You better not be wasting our time. Let's search. Look at bro looking at the wine. What you doing? You're a waste of oxygen. F*** it! You know, this is why- you know what? F*** you, I don't care. This mother don't look me in my face and tell me I'm a waste of oxygen. Bro, you're a waste of space. What are you reading, Orman? Oh, you're probably wondering what I'm doing fiddling under the desk. I am, so what are you doing? Show me your hand. I'm searching for some kind of switch linked to a hidden compartment or passage. You can't miss anything. Oh. I, I don't want to do this. Believe it or not, this is the first time I've been in Mr. Hoffman's office. Or, Mr. Hoffman's office. Well, in working hours, he rarely allows new visitors in. Not even his own staff. Well, that's a suspicious cue number one. Either he was taking advantage of people inside, or whatever. I don't feel good going around his belongings without permission, but after all we've been through, do we have much of a choice? Mr. Hoffman's not even here. Girl, don't even worry about it. Ormond, get your big ass head out of the way. What you reading over there? What is this? Could you check that hefty furniture for me, friend? This big ass thing over here? Ormond, what are you reading? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so... The circle goes in there, I know that. One eternity later. Okay. How's those socks? What opened? Oh! I didn't find anything. Guys, wait. That's... Karina, watch him, he's got a bottle. Good job, Nova, you found it. So he was telling the truth? Uh, hold on now. I gotta read the document. There's only one way to find out. H how does one open this thing? Excuse me. Um, actually, you know, how come we came in here last- We never checked to see where Lewis went last time. You think he came in here and tried to search for it? This safe requires a four-digit code to break the lock. Who made Maria the locksmith expert, like? It could take us a while to get it right. Orman, you know it? Lewis, you know it? Ugh! It's like we're always taking one step forward and two steps back. Take it easy, Maria. I'm sure we can figure something out together. Can you get it open or not? 
She just said she needed a cold, bro. She doesn't have the cold. She's trying. I mean, this is just gonna take us forever. There are like 10 times 10. Exactly. 9,997 combinations remaining. Thanks, genius. Now, can you lend us a hand here? How about, like, we look around the office for the code, guys? How? I... I don't know! Just do something! You didn't bring us here for nothing, did you? Given our limited hardware knowledge, there are two possible ways to break through this. We're listening. One. The most straightforward. That's by brute force. At the rate of one combination every five seconds, it may take you up to 14 hours non-stop with a narrow margin of about 10 minutes. That's assuming it won't block itself automatically after a certain amount of failed attempts, of course. I see, and that I preferred method under these circumstances. The other one is... Let's break this bitch open, that's what it is. The other commonly known social engineering, it consists of guessing the correct code by following certain, certain psychological patterns, or tricking the holder into giving it to us. That dude is dead, where is he? Let's look around his office, guys. Armand, do you remember a while ago when I made a statement about the gun with no bullets? What about it? You might not have realized it, but you gave that information away yourself. Simply put, I knew the gun was fired a couple times, but I didn't know the exact number of bullets that were left in the magazine until you reaffirmed my statement. Yo, I was like, who is this back here? <laughs> Bastard. Of course, the girl handing over the gun was another hint. Why else would you walk outside unarmed? Unless you were that stupid. Nah, he's spitting. That was very clever of you, doctor. Mm-hmm. We get it, we get it. You're smart, but I have a problem with that. Do you, by any chance, see Dr. Huffman around for that? Are you Dr. Huffman? Are you Dr. Huffman? Seriously, go ahead and try phoning him. I'm sure he'll be more than willing to converse with you right now, smartass. Heh, <laughs> is that not a job for an ordinary secretary? I just happen to know a very incompetent one that won't shut her mouth when she should. I kinda like, I kinda like Lewis, just a little bit. What did you say, murderer? Um, wait a minute, I shot, I shot him. This is not the time for quarrels, friends. Let's figure this out nicely. Care to continue, doctor? You won't get away from this that easily. I promise. Like I was saying, by knowing personal information about the holder, we can make a good guess at what the correct code is. After all, a password shouldn't be something too hard to remember. Plus, when it comes down to a simple code like this one. Let's, just get, let's pop this bad boy computer open. I bet it's in here. Oh, I know. The year this hospital was founded, it's three. One, two, three. Three. How about we take a quick look around? We're in his office, after all. There should be a clue somewhere in a memo, diskette, or even a trash can. A diskette? What age do you think we're living in? Yo, I didn't want to say it, but I was thinking the same thing. That's, that's outdated for 2007. I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> Yo, me, me and Louis got beef. Me and Lewis got beef. So who keeps something this creepy around? It's an anatomy thing. It's not that crazy. Quite an interesting collection our friends got here. Shakespeare, H.P. Lovecraft, Crawley. Oh, he into the occult, huh? A passage among these in particular comes to mind now. I quote, In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. If you'd forgive me, I'd like to hear your feelings about it. What film does that quote evoke in you at first hearing? Damn, what did he say? He said even in case there's um, opportunity, there's hope. I see. They say great things befall those who don't surrender and fight until the end. I can't really speak for myself, though. <laughs> okay, Ormond. <laughs> it's totally unrelated to the original question, isn't it? I was just contemplating, and then I had the urge to ask. Please don't mind me too much. Thank you for tagging along with me, Nova. It was a rare pleasure. Orman, don't snatch your watch away from me ever again. I'll keep an eye on the shelf for some more. They say a man's taste in music says a lot about his personality. I believe this also applies for books, wouldn't you agree to that? <laughs> nah, dude! He doing numerology out here? Oh my god. Um, each number is superior vibration, consonants, yes, yes, yes. Single digit numbers are 1 to 9, yes, 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 I know. Uh, girl, this is my thing! Let me take a look at that. It's password protected, of course. I'm gonna try to get something out of this portable computer. You keep searching around, please. She really took the thing that I was going to search. She had all that time. She was feeling around on the desk, and she was like, oh, I saw, I, let, let me, let, let me. She plugged in. Any clue there? I don't know. 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you watch him. Oh, are you talking to me? Hey, watch her. Maybe she's deleting stuff off the computer. I'm extracting data directly from the hard disk drive. Since the computer is password protected, all it takes is a physical access to the storage and the right data cable, of course. What What are you extracting it to and from? To the, to the this? Basically, by doing this, I can bypass the software layer, which is where all the security and other unnecessary programs are. Hopefully, my phone will take care of that too, since it's done in recollecting. It's analyzing now. That's amazing, but you couldn't figure out that there was a, car a key slider in the in the card reader? You think so? Normally this wouldn't be as easy as it looks, but my phone is special. You won't find anything like this in your local market, that's for sure. What's your phone? What you got? She got a smartphone over here? How'd you get a hold of something like that? You're all in on it again. I don't trust any of you. I'm over it. It's actually a long story, you see. Enough chitter chatter. Get to work, women. My dad used to work for the military back in the years. Not as an actual soldier, but as a hardware technician. When I was a child, I picked up some interest in his work. I used to sneak up on his messy workshop and tinker around with all the kind of devices while he was not at home, which is, which was quite frequently to tell the truth. I guess I was just bored and had nothing better to do back then. All children that age are like that, right? Anyway, one day he came home early and I found out what I was doing. I thought he was going to scold me really bad, but what do you think he did? He actually smiled. It was the first time I saw him do that ever since his divorce. After that, we spent a lot of time studying about radios, computers, and that kind of stuff together. Well, when I say studying, I mean more like an old teacher and a young student exchange. Nothing too hard an 11-year-old girl couldn't comprehend, though. As the years went by, I started to lose interest. I couldn't help it, but sometimes I feel a little bad about it. This cell phone was a personal gift from him for when I graduated high school. My dad doesn't trust nowadays communication companies. He's a paranoid old man who thinks they're always spying on us or something like that. He used to say to me, technology is humanity's right hand and those roles should never be reversed. Cheesy, isn't it? Um! Technology is humanity's um, right hand and those roles should never be reversed. Um! I... I don't know why I'm telling you all this now. Anyway, with it I can read information stored in the common devices under the basic conditions. That is not encrypted and comes from a valid format. Armand! Is that your daughter? Oh, something came! As expected, the majority of the files are found. The files found are encrypted are just plain unreadable garbage. I, but I could rescue some video data. I should be able to reproduce it from here. Do you want to take a look? Yeah, show me my lab test results. She's like a hacker! That's cool! He won't talk to me. I don't talk to him anyway. F him. Or maybe would you find anything new? This bitch won't talk to me either. All right, Maria. Listen, I'm not supposed to break into these files, so user promise me you'll keep whatever you see to yourselves, okay? Okay. Thank you, promise. We need to figure out the safe code, one way or another. And five heads think better than one, right? Let me know which one you want me to play. Play this one. Is this shit a wizard money gang? The shadow government. There's an extra worker. That's that dude that was down there, actually. He was chasing me. Oh, he got sick! Did he just get coughed on? It was the simian flu. <laughs> I know that bald-headed, left coat looking guy anywhere. That's the dude who was chasing me around. Oh, you know what? That's why she, when he said that, she was like, what did you say? Because her dad says it all the time. The blood moon, a millennial mystery unraveled. A red moon in the black sky nowadays is but an enchanting spectacle people across the world can gather to appreciate once every few years. Set the time, lay out a comfy chair, assuming you have a clear view and you're ready to relish alongside family, neighbors, and friends. Oh, and don't forget your favorite drinks too. Sounds like a cheerful plan for the inning, doesn't it? But can you imagine the awe and fear that some scenery may have? The same scenery had thousands of years ago. Prophecies, omens, doomsday. It's no surprise the rare and distinct occurrences like these would cause such strife in highly religious older civilizations. How they react? A scary thought when you read the human sacrifices being performed back then. Glad it wasn't me. Luckily, we're past those days of confusion and lack of understanding thanks to the advances in science. And in this article, we're going to explain very quickly this astronomical phenomenon and the causes of it. It's 
Terminus Total Lunar Eclipse doing the and zuga zuga zuga. That sounds like important. I'm gonna write that down. Surprisingly enough, even after all that, there's still some superstitious folks who believe the old eerie tales and magical powers of reddish moon, hence blood moon, red moon. The question is, do you? It's March third. Is it March third? I don't remember. What did Norman say? Was it March third? <laughs> I don't know what the code is. It's a four-digit code, and I've only got. Three, one, that's not what I meant. I definitely put three. Three, one, seven, one, three. He probably did his name. Damn, somebody help me. I think there's a three in here somewhere. 1738. Oh, it's March 3rd. March 3rd. I probably took the wrong thing from that. It's probably this date. I did his name. So, if we do March 3rd, it is 3-3-2007. Name, words, places, actions, bro. This could be like five different combinations. It could be Blood Moon. 3-3-0-7. Oh, Zero three zero three. I don't know what zero three. I don't know how you get that, <laughs> but it's zero three zero three. I'll be taking that. Thank you. I'll be taking that. Thank you. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Where'd he go? Where's it? Oh, you did it! What's inside? I don't have a gun. For all they know, I don't have a gun. Could it be the antidote? Maybe. Didn't you hear? She asked you a qu- uh. Yeah, he f***ing dipped. It looks like Dr. Eberhard's abandoned us to our fate. Yeah, he- That coward! When did he dash off? As soon as I opened the safe. It doesn't matter now. Anything else? Um, I got this key card. What are these? Show me. If she says something about the key cards, I don't think I'm reading it. I'm pretty sure these are smart cards. They're used for security access. I don't think they've got any information loaded onto them, though. Version. Like a young nun oblivious to the joys of life. What? Oh, oh, I thought he was sitting for some reason. What? Ormond, what the f*** are you talking about? Anyway, I think you should hold on to these too. Who knows, we might need them later. A gun with two. No. Three full clips. Why would Mr. Hoffman have something like this in his office? Mr. Hoffman ain't who you think he is. Security purposes, maybe? Could you hold on to it? You seem to know how to use it. I'll keep hold of the extra ammo just in case. Girl, why don't I hold the ammo? Because what if you lose it? Took my ammo. That's all, I believe, right? Let's get out of here then. Lewis is shifty as all hell, bro. Why did he? I thought he, I thought he was worried about me. But he didn't even get the cure. What was that? that is it this one soon soon what my guy it's almost like Lewis is untrustworthy I thought he was worried about his daughter but he wasn't was he well we'll come back to this soon like and subscribe